All right, folks, welcome to another beer review. And today we're going over to Farmyard Bruco. And this is a look at their Splish, Splash Session IPA. 4.5% um, with a little help from our friends at the Northwest Beer Appreciation Society. We brewed this Session IPA packed to the gills with Citra, Mosaic, Sabro and Mateca for a citrusy tropical and floral profile with low bitterness to let that fruit shine through. Pairs well with bubble baths. And with the weather that we've been having recently and the fact that we only have a shower now, I won't be taking any bubble baths anytime soon. Although it's nothing wrong with bath, bubbles, maybe a cheeky bath bomb and a couple of beers. So I'm looking for the artist credit on this because I've got to say that is a beautiful, beautiful label. A really nice sort of, what do you call that, abstract painting? I'm not too sure. So yeah, Splish Splash. I get the reference now of the bubble bath. But it's not a Saturday night, it's a Friday evening. So um, yeah, I've not had anything from Farmyard for a while. I think the last thing that I had was or on camera at least, was, oh no, I, I'm sure I had a collaboration recently. Can't remember when, can't remember where, can't remember who with, can't remember what the beer is. But for some reason, I've got that idea that I've had a farmyard beer not too, not too long ago. But the last one that I reviewed was, is it called Hoof, the coffee stout, which I remember being very, very nice. Because it's a coffee stout, so it's going to be nice. So yeah, Splish Splash, and this is what it looks like. I'll just like saying Splish Splash, because uh, when you really break it down, it just sounds stupid, doesn't it? Gotta love the English language, I've just realised I've left the oven on. Even though I cut my tea, fucking love swearing for no reason. Um, well over an hour ago, so uh, wasting gas and also adding unnecessary heat into the house. So good job, Peter, keep it up. Beer in the glass then, and uh, it looks like tropical fruit juice, like you've cracked open a can of or bottle of Lilt, which I think is now a flavour under the Fanta name. And I'm like, just keep it as Lilt, keep the Lilt licence. Maybe there's something there that they can't, or maybe Fanta just, is it, is it Fanta, Pepsi? I think it's Pepsi, isn't it? Fanta, or is it Coca-Cola? I can't remember. Um, but you'd think, because nobody wants Lilt-flavoured Fanta, do they? They want Fanta. I don't know. It's one of those weird things to discontinue, like Brannigan's um, Honey and Mustard Crisps. Anyway, looking very nice. It looks like, you know, a soft drink. Uh, nice amount of haze. Lining of a, a white head, dissipated quite quickly. Pick this up from Booths with a few other beers, which are intended to keep for a barbecue tomorrow. But I've already had, because I did the get six for five, is it? Or is it five for four? Which they've included the Augustina Lager Beer Hell, which of course I've got one in the fridge. Had one last night and it was just, what a beer that is. But I've gushed on about that beer so often. Which I won't do. I was just a little bit gutted he didn't have any um, um, high wire grapefruit because I thought four pack of that for a barbecue, perfect. So I picked up a few craft beers, a couple of bottles of Augustina, and they're mostly gone. So I have to get some bits and bobs anyway for the barbecue tomorrow morning. Don't know why I'm going way too much into depth with a pointless story, but I am, and I've started, so I'll finish. Um, so I'll probably just pick up some beers from Asda. I don't know. We shall see. Um, you don't necessarily have to have a proper session, do you, when you're barbecuing? But, you know, I'm probably a borderline alcoholic, so there is that. And you're probably thinking, if it's so warm, why are you wearing a shirt? I don't like just wearing a T-shirt. Body dysmorphia. Not being diagnosed with it, but I think I've got body dysmorphia. And I'm not saying that to take the piss, because I could imagine that's a really awful... Uh, thing to go through and I feel like I've got that because I just 
I hate this. I hate this. So I try and keep it as covered as I possibly can. So that's why you won't see me wearing shorts and I won't just strut around in a t-shirt. And how poncy does that sound? Strut around in a t-shirt. Aha! People do say I have sort of like Alan Partridge mannerisms, um, like being unintentionally Alan Partridge. No one's ever said I've had Larry David tendencies, which I'd like to have. Um, but I also get um, what's his face his character. No, David Mitchell's character from Peep Show. Apparently, I sound like him and act like him. Um, so I act like all of these lovable people who the masses don't really seem to appreciate. And I think that's where I would class myself as an un, not undiscovered, but an underappreciated genius. And uh, I'm going to stick with that, even though I don't, I genuinely don't believe it, because I'm I'm just dumpster fire of a person. But I get through life, I'm still here, and um, yeah, don't know where that's gone. Anyway, should we just shut up and drink the beer? I think we should. In fact, no, smell it first, you stupid tit. And just like the appearance, it smells like... A fruit soft drink. I had to think then what you call them. But yeah, very, very fruity. Definitely herbal coming through now. But that first like initial hit was just like pure sweet fruit juice. It's got that slight coconutty flavour. Or aroma, pineapple, very bright, citrusy, plump citrusy fruits. I am a plump citrusy fruit myself. No, I'm just a plump fruit. Isn't that amazing how you can take one word out of a selection of words and it just completely sounds different? But yeah, smelling very, very nice indeed. Fruit bowl, but then there's like a twang to it. Which I'm, I'm guessing is the Motika, Motueka. I can never remember how to pronounce that. Anyway, now we'll take a sip. Cheers. It's very nice. But the aroma doesn't really transfer or translate to, uh, don't overly complicate sentences. It doesn't taste like it smells. It's got a very, like, punchy, dank edge to it. There's a sweetness there, but nowhere near as you'd, you'd expect from the nose. Although I suppose it's easier to get a sweetness from an aromatic as it is to impart that in terms of flavour from a hop. Yeah, a little bit dry on the finish as well, like grape. A little bit grapey, raspy. Is that a good word? Let's open that. Bear with one second. Damp tea towel. Just hang it over the open oven door and it'll dry it really quickly. Life hacks with Peter. <coughs> and I've just come to the realisation that I have no cigarettes for the rest of this evening. Can't really be bothered going to the shop. The closest shop is right up the road, but they add at least like three or four quid onto every product that they sell, which is very annoying. And I can't be bothered making that a little bit more of a longer trip to uh, Bargain Booze. Plus, I'd be very hypocritical because I got asked to pick some cigarettes up. Um, and uh, I said, oh, no, I can't bother. I just want to go straight home. So I'd be human dumpster fire mark two if I uh, did that. So I'm not addicted. I'm just going to see the rest of the night through. Probably play some uh, DMZ because that takes up so much time. And next thing you know, it's like early hours 
So that will keep my mind occupied. Or I might just punch a wall if I get frustrated. A little bit of like a pineapple-y flavour, subtle hint of mango. Nice body for a 4.5, uh, nice bit of finish, bitter and dry on the back end. Um, do you know what? It sounded like I was being a little bit, or I was like disappointed that it doesn't taste like it smells. That's far from the case. What you have here is a really nice lower ABV pale. Although, mind you, 4.5%, it's not that low, really, is it, when you think about it? But yeah, Splish Splash. For, I feel like I'm saying Splish wrong uh, from Farmyard. Very nice indeed. Um, I would definitely have that again. I haven't chilled it down as much as it probably should be because I forgot to put beers in the fridge when I came home yesterday. And I just put them in the fridge this, well, not this morning when I came back from work so it's been in there for a couple of hours it's chilled down quite quickly though I will say that but I think this is one of those ones where if you have it like a fair bit colder you're probably going to get a little bit more out of it but yeah very very nice indeed would definitely recommend and uh, another one of those breweries who I need to get more beers from um, because it just seems to be like the same rotational five breweries that um, pop up on the channel on a regular basis. But yeah, so if you've tried it, let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. If I can find out whose art that is, I'll put them in the description. Also, go check out, which by the way, what a wonderful name, the Northwest Beer Appreciation Society. A bit like Mull Historical Society, there's an obscure... Uh, indie reference for you. Um, so I'll put their information down below as well. And uh, I think they've done a really good job with Farmyard. Um, I remember Farmyard doing a cracking um, German style pills or always at Hellas, can't remember off the top of my head. Um, but they're a very good little brewery. And um, yeah, I just need to drink more from them. So if you've tried it, let me know your thoughts, opinions down below. Links in the descriptions descriptions there's plural there's multiple descriptions under this video apparently um i should really water the garden because it's a little bit cooler now as it oh my god i'll wait till about nine o'clock when it is really cool but then i'll be tempted to have a sig while i'm doing it and then chill with a bottle of augustina but i really cannot be bothered leaving the house to get cigarettes that's that's my first world problem tonight. But I do have some um, black pudding. Is it black pudding or mustard beef? I can't remember. Lancashire crisps. The Lancashire sauce crisps, which I also picked up from Booze. Because you've got to. Every time I go to Booze, I've got to pick up. Didn't get a big bag this time. Got a smaller bag, which I had in work for me lunch. Um, I picked up a can of Trip uh, CBD cold brew coffee. And it was fucking awful. Um, I should have known better because I've had the CBD infused like sparkling water and it just tastes foul. Didn't even get any coffee flavour from it and I'm like, what is this mess? Just to get a slight diluted watered down means the same thing. Um, dosage of CBD. Why am I telling you all this? I don't know. I don't know. But um, yeah, basically I've got a really nice packet of crisps to enjoy and uh, I'm going to cool myself down by water in the garden. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this, end the night playing some Call of Duty, drinking some Augustina, and then tomorrow I'm going to stress, um, because I always stress when I'm cooking for other people, when I'm doing a barbecue. Overdone processed burgers, overdone sausages, very mm. trepidatious fresh chicken. Um, but I never really go all out because it's a really crap barbecue, so why put in the effort? But I put on a good spread and I'm a good host. And uh, I look after people when they come round for food. So you're more than welcome to, to come round. And uh, if it gets bad, there's a really fantastic pizzeria. Well, it's not pizzeria, it's like a pop-up place that's next to the Heron Pub. And I've just doxed myself. Fantastic. Anyway, 
Cheers for watching. You all take care. Stay safe. There was about seven minutes of beer review and then seven minutes of me just talking utter shite. But you love it. Don't deny it. Peace.